So, we are gonna texture our model. Color is the thing that makes our model realistic. For that, take a look at the references you've chosen. Analyze the variety of colors. I'll suggest to make a palette. Let's start. As you can see, we can turn our seats on and off when needed. The first thing we need to do is bake the textures. Open the baking settings, choose our high poly model and turn off ID and thickness channel. Then bake. After baking, we see how parts of high poly model moved to our original model. I will show you the texturing on the previous model, step by step. Let's color the seats, cause they mustn't be just white. We don't make texture for them, because we are gonna add the material in Blender. Now the bun. First of all we need a base color on which we will apply all the others. Set high roughness, because our bun is not a mirror. Add small irregularities on the surface of the bun using high. Because the real bun has no polished surface. The dirt generator on the black mask will do. Then add a second color to make it more realistic. To combine layers, use several different grind maps and make each next layer path through. Add the third color. Buns are usually lighter at the bottom, so we add this color using the position generator. And we use the grange map from above in order to make ragged edges. Set the multiplayer effect to subtract the textures. To the top of the bun make the gradient darker. This can be done with the different brushes. 
For example, dots or dirt will fit. And at the top we add blue. The part at the top is the darkest and the most baked one. Draw manually and subtract by using grand maps and multiply. At the same place we set the height, because a crust is usually thicker. Also, the dots formed during baking make the model more realistic. They are usually darker because of the oil that flows there, for example. The reflection can be set higher. We can mask dots using position. We can also find small protruding points on the surface. It will also add realism to our model. We will use only color and height and we will also soften it with another layer. At the end we will add an additional layer of reflection to make some areas more shiny. If you want, you can add another layer with irregularities and reduce it to the desired level through the layer's transparency. And the last step is export. Here we will create preset ourselves.
we need color, normal map, roughness and if you want more bump, the height. But not necessarily. And it's done! Excellent work! 